Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, first, we'll create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we'll import that project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, let's head over to the browser. In a new tab, just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer. Well, Spring Initializer is a website or a web tool that we can use to quickly create and bootstrap Spring-based applications. Now let's go and let's fill up the project information over here. Well here we have two types of project, Myven project and Gradle project. We are going to use Myven project. So let's keep Myven project as selected over here. And here we have three kinds of JVM languages, Java, Kotlin, Groovy. We are going to use Java. So let's keep Java as selected over here. Next we are going to use Spring Boot version 3. So let's select Spring Boot 3.0.0 milestone 4. So this is the latest version of Spring Boot as of now. Next, let's fill up the project metadata over here. So let's give group as net.javaguides. Well, you can give any group that you want. Next artifact, let's give artifact as Spring Boot REST API. Next, let's give project name as Spring Boot REST API. And then description, demo project for Spring Boot REST API. And then packaging name as net.javaguides.springboot and then packaging as a jar and then java version 17 well remember whenever you choose spring boot version 3 then you have to choose java version 17 or later next let's go ahead and let's select the dependencies we'll go ahead and click on add dependencies over here and here just type web well spring boot provides spring boot starter web dependency that we can use to develop the restful web services and this dependency internally provides Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container so that we can able to run our Spring Boot application in a development environment. Alright, so let's go and let's select Spring Web Starter Dependency. Well, as of now, let's keep this single Spring Web Starter Dependency. If any dependency is required, we will add in our upcoming lectures. Next, let's go ahead and let's click on Generate button to generate this Spring Boot project as a zip file on local machine. And you can able to see here, our Spring Boot application is downloaded as a zip file over here. Next, let's go and let's open in a folder and let's unzip this folder. All right, now we have Spring Boot REST API project in place. Next, we are going to import this project in IntelliJ IDEA. Let's open IntelliJ IDEA and in IntelliJ IDEA, you can see a couple of options, new project, open, get from VCS. Well, we are going to open the existing project in IntelliJ IDEA. For that, let's go and let's click on this open option over here and go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. In my case, it is in downloads folder. So go ahead and select the project and click on open. Now this will open Spring Boot project in an IntelliJ IDEA. All right, perfect. Next, if you can see the SRC folder, within that we have main folder and within the main folder we have Java and resources. Within a Java folder, we keep all the development related source code and within a resource folder, we keep all the static resources as well as UI related resources and all the application level configuration in our application.properties file and here we have a test folder within that we keep all the JNA test cases next we have pom.xml file it contains all the Marvin dependencies and Marvin plugins now let's go ahead and let's explore more about this Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency well Spring Boot provides Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency to develop the RESTful web services as well as Spring MUC web applications and this Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency it internally provides all the required dependencies to develop the RESTful web services. Along with that, this dependency also provides Apache Tomcat as a embedded default, you know, container. For example, if we dive into this dependency, this dependency internally provides, you know, Spring Boot Starter JSON dependency, Spring Boot Starter Tomcat dependency. Okay, apart from that, it will provide, you know, all the Spring related dependencies like Spring Web dependency, Spring Web MUC dependency. It means that this single dependency will gather all the required dependencies to develop the Spring MUC RESTful web services. Along with that, it will also provide a default embedded Tomcat server. Okay, we don't have to configure the external Tomcat server to deploy our Spring Boot application. This dependency internally provide embedded Tomcat server so that we can quickly deploy our Spring Boot application in our local development environment. All right, great. Now let's go and let's quickly run our Spring Boot application and let's see how it works. So go to the main entry point class. So this is basically our Spring Boot main entry point class. It has a main method. All right. So typically in Java programs, 
we have main method and the execution of the java program starts from main method right so similarly in spring boot we have main method and the execution of the spring boot application starts from here okay so we can simply use this main method to start our spring boot application so go ahead and run the spring boot application by using this entry point class and notice here in a console our spring boot application is up and running in an embedded tomcat server on port 8080 well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created and set up spring boot project in IntelliJ idea and we quickly gone through the project structure and we have explored about spring boot starter web dependency and we ran our spring boot application and our spring boot application is successfully running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8080 in upcoming lectures we are going to develop the restful web services all right great i will see you in the next lecture